Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Matt and I do like video games and in today's video we're checking out Vampire Survivors on Xbox Series S. Now this is a game was not on my radar at all but I kind of see everybody talking about and I mean everybody is talking about this game and I'm like okay I need to hop in I need to see what it's about so that's exactly what we're gonna do and we're gonna see what it looks like. I mean obviously it's got its own art style it's going for that retro look which is admirable. I do I do enjoy that. I don't know what this game is. Also, it just does it automatically. Like, there's not a button I need to press. Oh, what's that blue bat? Oh my god. I do like this art style, though. What's funny about that is I don't typically, like, I don't have a lot of nostalgia for games like this. Like, very simple art style, like, top-down kind of game. I don't have any nostalgia for this. Because, of course, I play, like, you know, the SNES. Oh, my God. That's a lot of bats. Okay, that's crazy. Oh, my God. Got to focus. Ah, ooh, I leveled up. I thought I died. But yeah, I played the um, SNES. I played the Sega Saturn a little bit over at a friend's house. But I never really... I didn't have it in my house. Like, the first console I had in my house was uh, a PlayStation 1. So that was, like, right when, you know... Obviously, they had games like this, but it was, like, right when 3D was taken off. So it was like, it was cool for everything to be 3D. Like, Ape Escape was cool. Like, Spyro. Oh my god! Spyro was cool. Um, so yeah, I'm, I am kind of surprised that... Like, I can see why people are talking about this game. Is the point I was trying to get at. Like, I was expecting to turn this on and be utterly and completely bored by it within t two minutes. That is not the case. I'm actually kind of enjoying it. And I can see why it's not like the most insane game design, uh, but I can see why people like it because it seems like it's a really easy game. Like if I died here, it would be really easy for me to just keep playing. And I'm assuming that the point of this game is it's Vampire Survivor, so you just need to survive. All I really know is that it's a roguelike. Oh man, are they get are these things getting faster? Is that what's happening here? Got that one. Yeah, this is one of those games. I don't know how long I'll keep it installed on my console, but I could see myself on my phone playing this on like XCloud or something before I fall asleep, like every night, just as something to do. Oh my god, they're just converging in on me right now. And there's really not a lot to talk about in terms of its performance. Or its, you know, visuals. Because, I mean, look at it. Oh. I mean, people really don't care what resolution this game in particular is running at. It could be running at 480p for all of any house. It's Can I just use anything? Oh man, that's not good. Can I get out of here? I just need to find some health, please. Man, this one won't die. It says I need to go up there, but I'm looking for health. Unless they're leading me to health, that would be nice. But I somehow doubt that is the case. Treasure. Oh! Nice. I got a bunch of stuff from that. I don't think it matters because I'm about to die. Like one hit and I'm dead. I also don't know how big this map is. I feel like it's just a big open space. <laughs> With enemies constantly converging on you at all times.
Oh, damn. Oh, I didn't. I was too busy looking up. All right. Well, hey, I got an achievement. It's not bad. I reached level five. I don't know if that's good. I don't think that's good, but I did get an achievement. I survived one minute with any character. I survived way more in a minute. Give me another one. I would survive five minutes. I did five minutes. That, uh, that's interesting. I don't, I don't know if I could play that all the, obviously all the time. There's a lot of people who are really addicted to this game right now. Um, I could see myself turning that on every once in a while and getting kind of sucked in. With that being said, like I said, there's not a whole lot to talk about when it comes to, you know, the resolution of the game. I'm not entirely sure what the resolution is. It does look clear for what it is. It is actually, believe it or not, X and S enhanced. Yeah, definitely check the game out if you're into roguelites because this is right up your alley if that's the case. It's in Game Pass, so, you know, it doesn't cost any more than your monthly subscription. If you, and if you end up really liking the game, then hey, maybe go ahead and buy it yourself. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here, and I'm gonna try that again on my own time real quick and see if I can get any higher score. But that being said, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.